Oh boy! You kids ready for you kid ready for Neptunia today? Ha ha! It's me, Mickey Mouse! We're gonna play some Neptunia today! Ha 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 ha! Dang it, Mickey Mouse. Why you gotta interrupt my stream like that? Anyways, hello. Welcome back to Neptunia. I had to do a funny bit, okay? Anyways, once again, we gotta find the key fragments. Ooh. Wonder how we're gonna find those. And, um, I don't know, I'm just picking a random Fumo every episode, so... This time, Cerno is gonna join us. Hmm. Why are we in Planet Tune? Was I supposed to be doing something? Uh... Mm. We're supposed to go to Last Station, it looks like. We got Red and Lyrica. I like that that's, that's just her- that's just what they call her now. They just call her Lyrica now. <laughs> I mean, I know that's her name, but still. How's my team doing? Uh, they, they can use some work, honestly. It's been a little bit of a while away before we actually start getting them to a reasonable level. Although I have been using Gust and Nisa a bit. 5PB, she still has a while to go before I f think I actually use her. Yeah, it's, a, it's a bit of a shame this game doesn't do the thing that later Neptunia games do, where they join you, and they're like a few levels above you when they join. <laughs> So it's not at all hard to train them up. It's a shame it doesn't do that. Because I'd personally prefer that. So yeah. We're gonna go to Last Station, because that's where all the good shit is. Anyways, I just got back from Walmart. It's a bit of a windier day today, which is good, because... Summer's been kind of doo-doo, reaching up like 30 degrees Celsius most days. But now, it's only like 19 degrees today, which is way better. 19 degrees, I can actually tolerate. That's like, that's like regular weather. <laughs> regular people weather. <laughs> For me, regular weather would be like, I don't know, below that, like 12 degrees would be nice. I'd actually like degrees that low, because I... I don't know, I just have a sensitive body. I can't handle temperatures higher than, like, 20. <laughs> if, if the temperature is more than, like, 20, I just, like, start bitching. Which is why I can't handle the summer, and that's why I like winter. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I, lo I love the intros. The in Even though the intros play multiple times, they're still great. Anyways, uh... Let's see what Lyrica's up to. And it's good that I have the Japanese voices on. うーん。いまいち調子が乗らない。そろそろ新曲出しておきたい時期なのに。頭が回らない時って甘いものって言うよね。何か無いかな。You're <laughs> Oh, 105. <laughs> An expired cup of pudding. I called it. Pudding da. Pudding da. Pudding da. Pudding da. Pudding da. My question is why is Neptune leaving expired pudding in the fridge? ネプトゥーノ。ネプトゥーノさんの最短3文字で収めるなんてさすが女神様。でも他には何にも。プリーズアタウェイ、ゆがら <笑> <laughs> Crutches over food can get messy.
何迷ってんのわたわく仲間なんだしいいじゃない Why is, there a, why is there an evil 5PB with wings? <laughs> It has funny brackets. Yeah, I wish that's how everything worked. If food's expired, it's mine now. There's a, there's a good one. There's, a, there's gonna be one with angel wings. <laughs> the fuck? Oh. Oh, 106. <laughs> Funny sparkly brackets. <laughs> What kind of acid trip is she on? She's going to be a little もっと素直になったら食べてはなりませんどんな言い訳を並べようと人道に反することです See that's what I was saying You're gonna eat You're gonna You know It's not good You're gonna get sick 前を見て口の中でとろける濃厚な甘さそれを引き立てるほろ苦いカラメルソース Did I download the wrong game? <laughs> That's what she says. <laughs> Unless you want to get stuck in the bathroom. Yeah, didn't Neptune get stuck in the bathroom one time? That was sure fun. Neptune ran out of TP or something, I'm pretty sure. Alright, hero's item. Red makes another sun appearance while IF's on a personal quest. IF grows concerned over Red's loathsome journey, but the other girl seems confident enough. やっと終わったわね。工場まで荷物を届けるだけの簡単なクエストだと思ったから一人で受けたのに。まさかモンスターに出くわすなんて死ぬかと思ったわ。Is if he just casually doing quests on her downtime? It's pretty funny to think about. でも工場って武器の工場だったのね。I hope you guys enjoyed the Mario RPG rerun that I did this morning. I was calling uh I was calling my girlfriend, so I thought like, well, since I'm gonna be doing that, I'm just gonna run like an old Mario RPG stream while I do that. And uh yeah, that's just something I started doing like a few months ago. About a month ago, I think. Like whenever I am busy and I can't stream. But I am at my computer. I just like throw a stream on for people to watch while I'm busy, and it's an old stream from like three or four years ago. And I thought that'd be a good i. I think that's like a good idea going forward. Like if I want to get some extra streams out every day, I can just rerun old ones, and then you know I'll get them archived on my Twitch properly. Because up until like the Doom 2 streams, I didn't. I don't have any of my streams archived on Twitch. And I kind of want to do that. So, for the next, I don't know how many years, I'm going to start, I'm going to try and like stream old ones and get them up on my Twitch and archived properly in case something happens to my YouTube channel. So, yeah, it's good to back them up. Kaki, I'm going to 
ベルトコンベアで運びながらの流れ作業なのねやっぱりウィーン、oh, 107ウィーン<笑>ウィーン何この音<笑>なんか急に大きなパーツが流れてきたわねヤッホーアイちゃんなんかよくわかんないけど運ばれちゃってるよ What the fuck is she doing? レッドちゃんなんで危ないから今すぐ降りていやいやベルトコンベアに先がないああ !She sure loves to get herself into hijinks, doesn't she? と一緒にダンボールに収まっちゃった。<笑>そのまま出荷かしら<笑>じゃなくて、funny, レッドちゃん早く出てよいしょ。Did he just say よいしょ<笑> ?Like the Japanese onomatopoeia for grunting? あんまり危ないことしちゃダメよ。<笑>ロープウェイの上とかコンベアの上とか、私の上ってのもあったわね。次はモンスターの上かしら<笑>その手があったかだからやっちゃダメだって。本当にモンスターって危険なんだからそういえばレッドちゃんは武器を持ってないの一人旅してるならご信用に武器くらい。Hmm. Doesn't he have a weapon? ん Maybe not yet. 大丈夫武器ならもう持ってるからえっとねー Where's her iconic yo yo? Oh, one way. ケンダムでしょヨーヨーでしょクリスピーでしょそれから武器じゃないわそれ<笑>そんなんじゃなくて剣とか槍とか銃とかね Wait, what's a, what's a kendama again? 持ってほしくない気もするけど、mm, I need to remind myself what that is、uh, Kendama is Oh it's that、um, that hammer with the ball thing I, I've seen that before. Okay. I forgot she had that, to be honest. That's, that's the thing that Maguro has in Puyo Puyo. I always wondered what that thing was. <laughs> Now I finally know. I mean, all it reminds me of is the fact that you could use yo yo's in Terraria. <laughs> I am a past yo yo main. It is true, though. She does kick the shit out of enemies with a yo yo in Rebirth 2. So. じゃあレッドちゃんは勇者と同じ選ばれた人なのね。That is pretty amazing. うん、あたしすごい。すごい。<笑> It sure is amazing. All right, I think that's it. Another red sighting over in Planet Tune. Oh god damn, I gotta go all the way back to Planet Tune. Fog. All right, back we go then. Where is it at? Where is Planet Tune at? I think I gotta call it back. All right, back to Planet Tune, guys. That's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna switch、uh, back to Gus because she's small and she's fast, and I like fast. So, yeah, I wanna get through this dungeon quicker. Whoa, those crystals just popped right in, dude. What the hell? That's crazy. Alright, time to kill some hornets. Yeah. Oh, and you didn't kill the hornet. The hornet has insane dodge rate. It's probably because of all the、uh, speed they have. Because Ify is still the only one who can outspeed a damn hornet. 
even though we're like very late into the game. <laughs> and don't worry, we, we, we will make a lean box progress today. We're just trying to finish up the red side quests because, you know, those are fun. Compatibility. Another red sighting. She reveals the story of her tragic past. お母さん。あれ、なんか聞いちゃうまずかった私には嫁探しとは別にもう一つ大切な目的があるんだ。今からちょうど一年前、私はまだ普通の女の子で家族と一緒に幸せに暮らしていたの。ある日、お母さんと一緒にお祭りに行ったら。This is not the right music to be playing, game. Usone. <笑>もうバレちゃった。結構自信作だったんだよ。ああ、し、し、<笑> <laughs> Your wifey rank. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, what else? Wife's job. I think this is it. I think this is the last one. Red frequently visits IF now. At first, IF didn't know how to handle the unpredictable antics of Red. But it seems like she's just going along with it now. もういい。まだ。うん。嫁と Oh, she's just dragging her along. <笑><笑><笑> <laughs> she really cares about those points. まだジンジンする。レッドちゃんは平気そうね。うん。そうだね。私は全然痛くない。すっごい石頭。漫画にくでパワーアップする原人みたいね。うん。<laughs> Thank you.
Oh, I think there's another one. Roundup. Red struggles to enhance her friendship with Aya through frequent visitations. Then some important information is revealed. Is it really gonna be important? And 110 times the song's played? So, <laughs> My wife is party. ネプコ? <laughs> Is that her name in Japanese? Nepko? Yo, she's gonna freak out when she hears that. Yeah! Hunter eleven times. フレルかどうかはわからないけどでもダメよ。モンスターと戦うんだし。さあ、なてんならだいじょうぶ。こう見えても強いんだ、私。よし。愛ちゃんを攻略してそのままにパーティーキャラ全制覇だ。あのあの
Ify and the two characters that have never returned in any other Neptunia games. It is a very base team. Alright, Louis time. Alright, I should probably say I haven't done that in a second. There you go. I might I mean probably the flow song I like from FSN remake is the Let the Battles Begin remix. <laughs> oh I'm I'm always based. I assure you, it is quite based. <laughs> oh, and apparently, uh, apparently Luke's gonna cancel TT by D remake today. That's that's kind of sucky. <laughs> Bro, you're so weird. All right, uh, not that. どうしたのレッドちゃん。もしかして風邪だったら寝てないとダメよ。ロープウェイの屋根の上に登ってたかな。あ、112 <笑> Man, if he really is the goat. <laughs> if he should stop using a flip phone. Nah, man. It's 2010. Flip phones are all the rage. Yada. <laughs> I love- I, I- I- see, Effie is sure- like, she's honestly the GOAT in this game. She helps 5PB socialize and overcome her fears. She takes care of Red while she's sick. And, um... What else does she do? Um... She does a lot of things, though, but already, I, she, she's proving to be, like, one of the best characters. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I had a flip phone. I had a, um, I had a, like, a, like, a weird cellular phone with, like, the A, B, C, D, E, A, like, D, E, F kind of buttons. You guys know what I'm talking about? I had one of those phones where you have to, like, press the button, like, three times to get the letter you want. I <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor Red. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. This interpretation of Red is so different from what they did with her in the localization. Like, you can really tell, like, in, in this game, in the Japanese version, she has a very, um, she has, she has this very cutesy like childlike personality to her that you don't really get in the localization. <laughs> in 2006 and 2007 we had modern looking phones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 113 times. <laughs> <laughs> She's so surprised. ちょうど100ポイント貯まるわね。本当だ。じゃあ、風が治ったらパーティーに入れてくれる風が治ったらね。風が治ったらね。<laughs> You'll introduce me to other wifeies? <laughs> That's another issue. Great. Great shit. Sateto. Do you see? 
本当は80のまま止めとくつもりだったのに好感度っていうとおとなしく言うこと聞いてくれるからついつい戦闘がつきものの私たちのたびにあまり巻き込みたくないわねかといって口で言って分かってくれるかしら Alright, newcomer. Red never gives up visiting IF. IF tries to convince her to stop coming by, but. Oh, and 114 times. Royal Emperor Dragon Koto! Red Chan Dai Fukkaz! So, Kyo Kara Tashimo, I Chan no party da yo! Doko Kara Iku? リーンボックスラステーションそれともプラネティウムレッドちゃん話しておきたいことがあるの戦闘のことなら大丈夫こう見えても結構強いんだよテイいやそうじゃなくて私たちの旅はとても危険なのやっぱり一緒に冒険はアイちゃんはレッドの嫁じゃないの嫁と私はメインとサブスタンスと同じだよ<笑>どんなに嫌がってもついてくからねスタンスよくわかんないんだけどだからそのね<笑> If he's trying really hard to convince her not to join <笑>アイちゃんは好感度100まで上がってくれたもん分かったわそうよね分かってて好感度上げちゃったんだもの好感度が上がりきったらこの子はついてくるって分かってたのに上がれば上がるほどどうしても連れて行っちゃいけないって思う方が大きくなっちゃって、oh, no, she's so、sad. アイちゃん、oh, mind, 分かってるよ<笑>アイちゃんは私のことを考えてくれたんだよねでもらしくないよもっと好きにすればとか言ってくれた方がクーデレっぽい What the fuck is a g u n d e r e 何をクーデレって ?115 Is that a sundere that goons? それでこそ私の嫁だ何と言われようと<笑>私はパーティーに加わるよいいわ、好きにすれば。あの、she just forces her way into the party。その一言が聞きたかった。That is so like her. <laughs> Alright, Red has finally joined the party. Yay! We did it, guys. We finally got all of the party members. There she is. We have all the party members now. We did it! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna text this to Zeppi. Because I know he's gonna be happy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Alright, and next up, I need to, um. I need to fix up her equipment in a second. Well, I will do that. It's time to go shopping for、uh, the toy set light and the vintage bracelet. Look, I, guys, I have like no money left. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? She has a Magatama. Very base. There you go. Bro, she even has jiggle physics. That's crazy. <laughs> Where's her toy set at? I don't see it. It's farming time. Yep. Because we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta get red up to like level 30 something or whatever the hell. So, yeah. But yeah, we have all the party members now. So finally, we can actually do stuff. EX. Um. Probably what I'll do. We'll put Neptune. We'll put Neptune in the back. 
we'll keep her on the sidelines for a while. We're gonna focus on, you know, our main... These six people. So, that's what we're gonna do. Even though Neptune is the protagonist... <laughs> he's had enough screen time. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna save after that. So what is my percentage at now? 59% event completion! It's the other CPU's turn, yeah. Whenever they join, which I'm not sure yet. Alright, let's put, put it back to English. I can't believe we're done 60% of the events, it's kind of crazy. We're, we've gotten so much done already. Anyways, um, back to Lean Box. Cause that's where we that's where we need to go. That's the only place left. Oh yeah, let's also try her out in in the dungeon. So what does she do? Oh, she does hammer crash like Neptune. All right, well here here here's Red. She's very funny. Which is what I like about her. Also, how have I never found this treasure? <laughs> Obtained treasure! Oh, there's her voice. There's her iconic, hilly voice. See, that's what I'm used to. <laughs> I think we've already won. That's the red voice that I know. Red is a Neptunia PS3? Yes, she is. She's a DLC character. Which is really weird. It wasn't worth it. It's it's weird because she's in the first Neptunia, but she's not in the rebirth. In the rebirth, she's not in Rebirth One. It's weird. Okay, anyways, here's Hammer Crash. That makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> makes sense that she's the Hammer Crash of the group. She just uses her Kendama to attack. That makes more sense than Neptune, arguably, because when the fuck has Neptune ever had a hammer? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Anyways, um... The Suspicious Evangelist through Lee- Oh, right, we gotta go to a dungeon. The Stella Mines. That's right, I see now. Okay, well, here we go. She does the, the Naruto run. She's pretty great. Mmm. I need to do some treasure search. My turn to do something? Mmm, over there. Over there. I can take care of this alone. Well, what is this dude all about? The fire dragon. Oh, he's still piss easy. Great. No challenge whatsoever. Wasn't <laughs> worth it. I'm gonna be stronger. Wow, she gained two levels from that. Yeah, red doesn't. Red and five PB kind of. They kind of suffer from the problem that they don't really get a lot of voice lines because they don't get, like, cutscenes. They're just, like, random, you know, characters you fight with and use in dungeons. I think we've already won. Okay, now this is a slightly more challenging, uh, loadout. Yeah, might have to actually, um, get attacked here. Never, never mind, he didn't do any damage. Justice Pond! Fist of Justice! You! Justice Kick! There you go. <laughs> All because of the good wind. I'm gonna be stronger! Infused herbs. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go over here, and we're gonna we're gonna keep searching for that treasure wherever it's at. I do, I don't know. Oh wait, 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 treasure! I found treasure. 
treasure. Whoop. Justice will never lose. I should probably um do the monster call though, to be honest. This is a bonus. There you go, much better. Monster. Level up! Three puppies? <laughs> what is that? What's that gonna be? Eh, I want all this stuff. Gimme. Let's see what we find. Uh, what? Why is it over there? Huh? Wait, where's the treasure at? Is the treasure actually Is it actually back at the start of the dungeon? No way, dude. My turn to do something? Dude, the fucking treasure is at the start of the dungeon? Oh, oh boy. Okay, hold on. Here, Mr. Monster. Don't be shy. I'll take you all. Let's let's do some whoop ass. It's whoop ass time. Oops, I did he man. I won't miss. Bullet of Justice. There you go. I love how it kind of acts like, you know, the battle is resetting. That's what it feels like. I never let my prey go. There we go. Just gotta do that like three or four times and it stops the encounters for a while. If you ask me, it's it's it's, it's not bad. It's a, it's a good way to go about doing things. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. There we go. One more wave. <laughs> hey, at least I'll do a better job at these waves than I did at um the dungeon, the, the tower defense thing in Terraria last night. I absolutely sucked at that. <laughs> oh no, he did damage. He actually did something to me. Well, that's wild. Come on, we've got this. Easy. That's uh, that's some better experience. No and 5pb has nothing. 5pb has nothing to say. <laughs> I feel like they just forgot to record some extra lines. Alright, let me get my treasure search back out. So the treasure is over here then, is it? Let me have a look. Wait, is it right here? Let's see what we find. Mm, close. I almost had it. Alright, let me take a drink real quick. <laughs> We're taking a lot of drinks. Let's see what we find. Alright, what we got? Oh, yay! Oh, that was not worth it. <laughs> that was not worth it at all. God damn. Only ten reflexes for all that? Bloody wasted my time, man. Do, do, do. Well, it says I should just reach the exit, so maybe I should just ignore everything in this dungeon. Considering this is a really low level dungeon, anyways. Where's the dungeon? The dungeon's over this way. Alright, let's see how far I can make it before the encounters come back. I mean, I'll get any treasures I see along the way. Well, I see another one over there. Has there actually ever been any mimics in this game? I don't know if there are. More reflexes. I mean, I can buy those, so it's not really a big deal. 
All right, there's the exit right there. Four. The victory is ours. I was so close to getting through. Also, I just noticed something. It's using um. Oops. I noticed it's using the purple, the purple um like cave background. Even not even though the dungeon is green. I don't know why I'm just noticing this now and why it why it matters, but I noticed that. I don't know, like, did they- how do they do this? Do they put, like, a green filter over the whole dungeon? Or is it really just a separate thing? Bro, I was, like, one frame away. <laughs> Conversation. What would bring her here? It appears she's waiting for someone. Wait, someone else is here. It's a man. It's a man. <laughs> We're ready. We can proceed anytime. What about the Basilicom? Oh shit, it's this guy. There's no point if they just surrender. Are you sure they'll fight back? I'm concerned about Lady Greenheart's absence, but on the other hand, it's more convenient. Oops. I can only gather bits and pieces. And don't I have the Sounds as if Jad and Don't I have the message log? <laughs> I'm sure that narrow-minded archbishop will do whatever it takes. He's the one responsible while the CPU is gone. More games need a fe more games need this kind of feature. I can only gather bits and pieces. Sounds as if Jad and Conversacion are not strangers. Do you know that man? He saved Compa and Ify when they were imprisoned at the Basilicum. We owe him quite a bit. We've transported most of the weapons from Avenir. They won't know who's who. If it's okay, let's raid my home tomorrow. Frickin' Avenir again. Once we spread word it was the Basilicom's doing, the aristocrats won't be able to sit quietly. The Basilicom's advantage is the sheer number of people, but you have firearms from Avenir gained through the guild. <laughs> the plot in this game is so confusing. Weapons from Lestation <laughs> should appear future-proof to the people of Leanbox, stuck in an ancient medieval lifestyle. It sure is an interesting plot, though. Yeah, thanks to that, our leader's more confident than ever. I owe a ton to the guild in Lestation. Man, fuck the guild in last station. To both his leader, his father, and to us. Let's crush him right now. Stop, stop it! We have to do something about that raid before anything else. Why not head back? We have enough evidence now. I'm not good at being quiet and whispering for so long. Yeah, you're not doing a very good job at it. So... He's willing to sacrifice his house to trigger a battle with the Basilicom. Who will he use to raid his own house? Probably the guild. We've got to do something, or the people will start fighting without knowing the truth. I'll return to the Basilicom. Please, go and take care of those aristocrats. What of the Evangelist? She's Jad's accomplice. We can't let her get away with this either. Oh yeah, I forgot we brought Vert with us. <laughs> forgot that happened in the last episode. Leave her to me. Now, let's hurry! It's like the most we've worked with a CPU <laughs> up until now. Alright, okay, do I have anything new I can buy? The Fire Dragon Staff. But that's more of a physical... That's more of a physical staff, isn't it? Hang on, I'm confused. Hmm... Weird. It seems to up my, uh... It seems to up my stats. But I can't afford it anyways. The high printy gun. And the, the RASL-1GR. Well, these would be, these would be good, uh, weapon upgrades. Except I can't afford most of them now, because the dungeons are barely giving me anything. <laughs> Griffin hunting too. We will we'll eventually do that then. Um, how many wives? Red is learning how to win the hearts of her fellow party members, but her feelings can't reach that one character. And bed sharing. Louis is a land buried in snow, and Red's trouble over extremely cold night. Wait, so there's two different there's two different Red events and two different lands. How does that work? <laughs> 
Gad reveals his plan to raid the aristocrat mansion. The team parts with Greenheart and goes to meet with the aristocrat leader and warn him. Okay. Let me just save real quick. So we are now done 60% of the events and 48% of the dungeons. It's not bad. E rule Collect Castle Aristocrat Mansion raid. Oh, and 116 times. Your cooking skill is so totally yum. I bet you you could open a restaurant. Oh, I'm not sure your sense of taste is trustworthy. I bet everything tastes good if it goes into such a cute little mouth. All right, bro, that's enough. Oh, don't underestimate this cute <laughs> little mouth. I've tasted lots of foods from all sorts of places, you know. Then I shall take your word. <laughs> what are you doing cooking food? We've got more <laughs> matters to worry about. Yeah, screw the brie. Let's make some food. <laughs> yes, this is Jad's house. You'll be in a lot of trouble if you stay. Whatever. He did say not to come over today, but this is my real son and his wife's house after all. No problem. Jad's adopted, right? Where'd you find him? He was a wandering orphan, and he was found lost in front of this house right after the Parliament's revolt. My son and his wife had no child, so they took him in, even though he was one of them angsty sorts. Then my son died, so now Jad is my son. He never acted much like a child, though this one time... No. Wow, what a, what a crazy Jad, backstory. That's not really what we want to talk about. Why are you in such a rush, Iffy Poo? Oh, by the way, Jad's a big, fat, lying traitor. <laughs> Could you be any more blunt? Can't we advance the narrative <laughs> like normal characters for once? Nope. <laughs> no. What are you talking about? Jad, a traitor? You had better be joking. Or... Please remain calm. Jad belongs to the guild. He has imported weaponry through them, too. This house is the target of a planned raid, so the aristocrats will be tricked into attacking the Basilicom. Sounds like a serious scheme. But one thing doesn't make sense. Why would Jad do such a thing? That's what I want to know. Well, that's true. Nap Nap, why do you think Jad is doing this? Like she'd know. Only extremists would try this. Their goal is to take over the Basilicom. Isn't that reason enough? So, because he's a member of the guild, he will sacrifice the home he grew up in? He couldn't possibly. Plus, this place is far from town. It can't be raided so easily. Then he would need help from other aristocrats to do that, right? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. What are you saying? You're a cunning little thing. However, I know that won't happen. <laughs> and then you just start here bang on the I door. I saw the lights on. What are you all doing here? And you, I told you not to come here today. Speak of the devil. We're just borrowing your kitchen. Say, why don't you sexy mascots ask him if you're concerned? I have no idea what you're babbling about, but we need to get out of here. The Basilicom is raiding. Well, he wasn't lying about that. <laughs> oh, and suddenly dungeon. <laughs> they just throw you right in, okay. Let me get my monster call ready. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna go any further, I'm just gonna wait, wait it out and get my Come thing ready. Evo! I hope lots of money drops. I wanna hear more of the music anyway, because the music the dungeon music is really good. Carry it. Okay, now these guys are a little stronger. Did you think that was it? Alright, getting better. Never mind, they're not that much stronger. <laughs> this is a bonus. Take it home. By Earth Serpent. 
It's just, is it just gonna be the same two dudes over and over? <laughs> All right, getting better. All because of the good wind. I'm level up. Some level ups. All right, now we actually get to hear more of this awesome dungeon music. My turn to do something. Mm, where's that at? Somewhere to the right. <laughs> That's all I know. So obviously it's not up, so we can skip that. Well, I don't know. Maybe there's a monster up there. Lucky day. Brisk guitar. I don't know if that's any good. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna save, and if there's nothing good over here, I'm gonna load. Like if it's if it's one of those Cleon guys, I'll fight him. But if it's just a treasure with like five tough mills, then it's not worth it. All right, what is this? My turn to do something. Wrong button. I found treasure. Yeah, that's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> not do it. Not bother doing that. All right. Well, let's just keep going. Let's see what we find. Mm, so treasure is more downwards. Says it's it's probably at the bottom there. Ooh, hey, more treasure. I found treasure. Yeah, I got I got four reflexes just for kind of walking around. All right, so where's the treasure at? Is it in the middle of the room? over there okay well we'll do that in a sec we gotta we gotta fight first this will be easy dun, 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 dun. oh this guy's really easy what the hell did you think that was Bro didn't even flinch. You're not worth telling my name. That didn't level up anybody. <laughs> okay, so I think the treasure's like right here. My turn to do something? Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Uh, the lights. <laughs> Let's see what we find. Yeah, the Cleons are great. What? The fuck? It's right here. God damn it. Okay, hold on. Let's call. Let's call some monsters. Everyone, get ready. We won't lose. Just get out. <laughs> oh, big dragon, dude. Hell yeah. The ring dragon. Oh, yeah, also, you can do this for some reason, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why you can do that. I never let. Well, the dragon's dead. See, because I was supposed to do this dungeon way earlier in the game, because the lean, we, we've barely done anything in the lean box arc yet. Did you think so, all of the shit that we're fighting is really low level. Although that's good for Nisa and Gus, though, because they get a lot of, they get a lot of, um, time to battle. 
Oh, another dragon. Ooh, that's some good experience. All right. Oh, even if he leveled up from that, <laughs> crazy. No one can stop me. I drink Nano. <laughs> okay. Oof, bit of a the game's kind of chugging. Let's see what we find. Eh, it was it kind of whatever. Anyways, let's go to the exit now. Wait to hear even more of this music. Actually, not really, because we're about to fight a boss. <laughs> or we're just we're just trying to leave. I don't know. See, either of them's fine. Sad music. Told you so. Believe us now, Pops. Are you sure? Are... are you? But I can think of no other reason to be attacked. What are you two discussing? Your association with the Guild. The jig's up. We heard ya. You and that evangelist are using the aristocrats to raid the Basilicom. Yep, Neptune just outed you, bro. You were there? Damn. Then... There's no reason Damn. for me to continue lying. <laughs> Bro didn't even care. It's like, oh shit, you found me out? Oh man. <laughs> Why? Why did you lie to us all? Are you truly just using us to bring down the Basilicom? I know how you feel about those serving the goddess, but it gives you no right to take advantage of others' feelings. Don't twist the situation. I despise the Basilicom. But so did these aristocrats. Ten years ago, the Basilicom Sanctuary purged me after I found a home. I escaped to Louis, away from the aristocrats. What? Ten years ago? We were told that was the Parliament's revolt. Why are you bringing up the purge? That's right. It was definitely ten years ago when we fought the Parliament and those heretics. But that was no purge. We only slapped the Parliament's wrists for degrading our CPU. I did not support any oppression. Don't try to accuse us. This is some wacky propaganda. The Parliament fought so the heretics could leave for Louis, away from the Sanctuary's oppression. The Basilicom concealed this. Aristocrats gained honor by suppressing the Parliament, and the Sanctuary gained power. Then, the reason the Archbishop is trying so hard to keep the truth hidden is not because he denies the revolt occurred. He didn't want anyone finding out he used the aristocrats to suppress the very revolt his actions helped to instigate. He was afraid to take the blame for oppressing the heretics. And you were just an orphan in the middle of the purge. Is that why you're trying to make these two factions fight? You're catching on. You already know I'm a member of the guild. So bro had a shitty childhood, so he's trying to get back at the guys who screwed him over. Basically, you hate both the Basilicom and the Aristocrats, but that's no excuse to go and do all sorts of bad stuff. It's enough motivation. Although, thanks to you, this plan is... No, wait, that's right! The what? Hey, he ran away! Should we chase after him? <laughs> bro, just, bro just bolted, what the fuck? Mr. Leader, you get it now, right? Please don't attack the Basilicom. Let's make capturing Jad our priority. Oh, all right. I guess that's going to be our next goal. All right, I'm back. Um, just went to get some juice. This is my last uh, cup of juice. So I have to go to the store. The store. And I got to buy some more. Because guess what? Walmart didn't have water enhancers. Again. They've been having like a shortage of them recently. So. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Cake. You know what? Um, yeah, let's do that. Her blog has been updated. And we also have Legend of a Hero. Some more dungeons. 
we have her massive booba. I tried a cake from Planetune today. It was given to me by an acquaintance. It was good, but why did it say it's thinking? Hopefully it wasn't poisoned cake that knocks your partner out for a battle. Because that would be bad. Chad runs off after a sun epiphany. The party rushes to catch up with him. Vert, stop hiding your booba. I mean, if you want to see Vert's booba, boy, do I have the thing for you. Where's the gallery at? My dumb ass forgot the, where the gallery is. Oh, here it is. Well, if you guys want to see Vert's booba, here it is. <laughs> you gotta hide the window. Ooh. We got some amazing gameplay right here. Crazy. We also have... Uh, he was red again. Her funny booba. Anyways, enough of that. Um, we're going to another dungeon, I think. The Stella Mines Dark Mine. Man, how many times are we gonna go to the damn Stella Mines? Also, before I forget, I should charge my phone, because I'm gonna go out again after this stream. He's taking the stereotypical escape route in the back. <laughs> yes, the Jiggle physics are great. We'll let it do, 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 do. It's not our business. We have to get him first. This is the only. This is the. It's, it's weird because this is the only Neptunia game to have jiggle physics in the cutscenes. Every any other time, it's only on the character models, which is weird. I don't know why they stopped doing that. He lied to everyone. We can't let this one slide. See, that's how you know Neptunia One is peak because it has jiggled in the cutscenes. Right, that liar. Still doubtful. Stop being confused, me. Let's get him and bring him back. Neptune's attitude is always great. <laughs> That's why I voice her so goofy. Oh yeah, by the way, Zeppy, you already noticed, but we got red. And she's she's very funny. Cause she Naruto runs throughout the dungeon. <laughs> But she has barely leveled up yet, so she's not really worth taking into combat yet. A perfect target. How many times did the funny song play? The funny song? So far, that song has played like 116 times <laughs> while you were gone. Did you think that was it? Too bad. You guys are still too easy. You guys get one good shot off. Alright, punch him in the face. See ya. You're wide open. Love, justice, and sorrow. Evil is unforgivable. Damn, okay. Dragon got his ass whooped. 116 times. Yeah, it's a lot of times. Yay, she leveled up. Rasbarrel. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna Naruto run throughout the dungeon. <laughs> Obtained treasure. All right. Well, now I need to figure out where the treasure is at. My turn. Um. It's... it's probably at the bottom of the dungeon. So we'll go there. Your justice and my justice. Let's see which one is stronger. <laughs> Nisa's got a good attitude. I like that. This is a bonus. Take it home.
four. Ran out of AP. Wow, 195 damage. So much. <laughs> Honestly, having Nisa in my team is kind of like having a second, um... It's like having a second Iffy. Level up! Except she's not as good as Iffy. Obviously. Anyways, I'm gonna edit her rewritable disc. Actually, let me save first, because last time I tried doing a rewritable disc, it broke. The game crashed, so let me try that first. Also, do I have any new moves? Um, nope. Doesn't look like it. Which one has- there we go. We're gonna edit. We're gonna edit the image. So, uh, <laughs> I have Patrick Sleep. There we go. And, uh, we're gonna rename it. We're going to rename it to Patrick. There we go. Now we have, now we have Patrick. Even though it kind of sucks. Because uh, rewritable discs with physical characters doesn't do any damage. Is the treasure at? I can take care of this alone. It's probably in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you can insert random images. That's something. Uh, that's something Mark II lets you do as well. You can make like custom CPU designs, I think. Also, I don't think Neptune gets experience. Does she? She's at 65,000. We'll see if she gets any experience. My turn! Where's this damn treasure at? It's, uh, back there somewhere. Great five. I don't know, I still think 5PB's voice sounds a little weird. It sounds off. <laughs> Yeah, Nisa, woo! All right, getting better. Well, you guys, you guys get one attack off. You're lucky. Oh, should I show them Patrick? Oh, I'll do that next battle if I have time. Come on, use the big green grass. I'm pretty proud. Yeah. <laughs> Big Green Grass is actually really Take fucking that. good. Like, the fact that you just heal after a battle is so useful. I'm kinda glad I have that. Here I come. Um, where the fuck is it? Is it more up- is it more up this way? Or is that the start of the dungeon? I'm confused. Where the fuck is this treasure at? Is it like... Is it back at the start of the dungeon? No, I don't, I don't feel like- I don't feel like doing that then. And it's probably not even good anyway, it's justice, probably just reflexes. Let's see which one is stronger. Like, I'm kind of at a point where it doesn't really matter much. All because of the good wind. Red got another level up. It's good. Woo! More stuff. Alright, now let's Naruto run. Let's 
So what is the, what is the goal of this dungeon? Back off. Don't waste your life. You sent Funi sauce? I do like Funi sauce. Oh hell yeah, dude. The sauce is real today. We got um we got some red. Oh, and red and Nisa. I've seen some of this art before. It's pretty pretty damn good. <laughs> I like that. The sauce never disappoints. This is a bonus. I have just enough for a combo a link. Take it home. Damn it, Ify, you didn't kill the dragon. Keep fighting. Thank god I have red grass. <laughs> I have another, but I can't show it on stream. Good wind. Uh, yeah, you should, you should send it to me, um, later. <laughs> so where am I supposed to be going? Wait. Ran to the end of the mine. I'm guessing this is the end over here. Is he in here? Oh. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> What's the matter? Where are the others? Your plan failed, I presume. You're the evangelist's replacement? Their leader knows we can't use the aristocrats to start this anymore. Hmm, it's not like the evangelist is, um, you know. It's not like R4 is the evangelist or nothing. But we can still manipulate the Basilicon. The aristocrats have those illegal weapons, and if the Archbishop finds out... I have high expectations of others, and a low tolerance for failure. Did he just, like, I'll whoop his ass? I'll not being face me. Oh, 117 times. Oh, yep. Death flag triggered. I kind of guessed he was one of those gonna die NPCs when I met him. Wait, he, is he okay? Wait, he died? How can you act like that when someone is dying? Compa, can't you do something? I wish I could, but I can't do anything about a triggered flag or a bad ending route he chose. Will you guys shut up about triggered flags for once? <laughs> Neptune. Nap nap. He's asking for you. These are his last words, so hear him out. What's up? A favor? Ask me anything. This music is not oh, fitting. Like no touching. Got it? No touching. Don't treat me like a pervert when I'm about to die. <laughs> I wanted to tell you one last truth. There we go. I'm a member of the guild. Thank you, DJ. I live on Leanbox, but I don't follow Lady Greenheart. Why are you telling me now? What's up with this? I... I'm into girls, like Lady Whiteheart. Oh, he doesn't like the busty, the busty blondes. Neptune's sprite is so cool. What, where she's doing, like, the fist pump? <laughs> oh, 118 times, boom. And that's that. <laughs> you finished him off. Wait. <laughs> Did she just kick him? Oops, well... That was for ruining the moment. Nap nap, Iffy, look! Someone is staring at us impatiently. I think we've seen her before. Are you done yet? I don't like surprise attacks, but if you're done with that event, then here I come! That voice! That evangelist! I couldn't tell before because your poopy taste in fashion <laughs> your convy, huh? Your poopy taste in fashion. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I love this game, bro. Well, <laughs> what are they doing? Nervous, but I'm glad you did. Yes, Conversacion was my alias. Yep, we already knew that. We gotta challenge you. You were after the Basilicon too, huh? I mean, I already knew that, because I played Rebirth 1. So that, that plot twist is... Even in Rebirth 1, that plot twist is pretty easy to see coming. It's not really a twist, it's just, um... Uh... 
I don't know. It's like a Twizzler. I don't know. It's a plot Twizzler. Absolutely. That man and I had the same objective. Bring down the Basilicom. Well, they really don't like the Basilicom, do they? Unforgivable. I'll beat you up right here and drag you by your hair to the goddess. Bring it on. I've already captured Leanbox's CPU. The Basilicom is entirely under the Archbishop's control now. Now we just watch and wait for this landmass to be destroyed by its own civil war. I'll silence you forever right now. This is, this is the one game where R4 is actually kind of cool. <laughs> In any other game, though, she kind of she's kind of sucky. She's she's Let's just get ready for this. she's like um she's like Team Rocket. She can't do shit. But in this game, she's actually kind of intimidating. Let's keep uh. going. <laughs> Are you keeping up with me? That's it. I'll get you. Boom. Did you think that was it? This won't be too hard though, because this is a pretty er this, this, I was supposed to fight her pretty early on here. Did you think that was it? Too bad. All right, I'm gonna defend. No, Gust. That didn't hurt. Um, you know, I need to edit her item skills. Um, let's see. Uh, got special healing pod. Uh, that's upon the fence. Is there one that heals 50% of her health? No. That's the only one. Okay, we'll do the special healing pod then. There's also low tension. Uh. Oh yeah, she has this really powerful special heal. That's right. <laughs> this scene is nothing but crazy. Alright, we'll have Gust heal so she can, you know, not die. Or I could tag her out for someone. Wait, hang on. What's my formation? I'd be tagging out red, which is an even worse idea. <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, let's look at let's look, look at Nisa's skills because I probably need to fix up her skills. Hmm, like the triple shot, rumbling thunder, and the dynamic slash. We're gonna call it Nisa Cool. Justice uh. Punch! I'll show you righteousness. Not bad. I got it! I love that it hits like five times. <laughs> I don't do this for fun. That's it. Boom. Entering max power mode. A triple shot's not a gun move. You'd think it would be a gun move, because it's called triple shot, but I'll no. Show you righteous not bad. Sweet. Not bad. <laughs> she said the thing. Just <gasps> she's actually gonna she's actually kinda tanky, not gonna lie. What do you That's think? it. What do you That's think? it. Musical words. I never miss target. Ooh, damn. Guard break, <laughs> yeah. I learned from a fairy. Do the gust campaign. Ooh, that's some good damage. A perfect combo. There. Yeah, keep it keep doing that. There. <laughs> the damage is real. Delivery. That's it. Special delivery. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Why is that so funny? This is for everyone. Oh, that's a mo oh that heals everybody. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, Gus is basically just a better compa. Which is kinda insane. It's no wonder she's a DLC character. Alright, keep attacking. This is a 
Did you think that was it? Entering max power mode. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta defend now. Special delivery. Keep doing the gush campaign, yeah. Combo. It's still my turn. She he just keeps doing like punches like you know, punch him. Punch him. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a funny little noise. Oh boy. Bro! If you need to, like, heal her or something, dude, she's gonna die. Do I have anything that I can use to heal? Mm. Quick pod. Oh wait, she has, she has a heal now. I don't have any that heals the party, though. Dang. Hmm. Green grass. Okay, well, let's keep kicking her ass. All right, getting back. I think I think Gus is dead, dude. <laughs> she can't possibly heal now. Getting better. That didn't hurt. Oh wait, no, no, no. R four stupid. She decided to not attack her. You know, I haven't looked at Nisa's items yet either. Uh, she has the Justice Heart, the EX Hero Drink. This only... Okay, so this applies Lunatic. Wouldn't this be better? Theoretically? Yeah, there we go. Much better. A heroine's turn never ends! Gus, do you have anything else you can do? Pawn action? Are there any that, that have a pawn action? No, I think it's just the healing pod. Well, hang on. So this is a t this is this straight up lies. Then it says restores thirty percent HP, but it restored it restored thirty percent HP to everybody. So it's actually better than it says it is. Interesting. All right, defend. It's still my turn. Yeah, keep doing the keep doing the gust campaign. <laughs> I'm never this generous. All right, it's time to uh, gun and then defend. This is for everyone. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it says it's her, it's, it actually heals everybody. That's kind of weird. Oh shit, I forgot to, um. I forgot to set Effie, Effie to, the quick pod. Well, it's only if they're 30% or lower. I don't think she's 30% or lower. Oh well, where? <laughs> He's getting closer to dying. This is a bonus. Chaos Edge. This is a bonus. Unless she pulls out some crazy bullshit. Ouch. Oh yeah, that did like nothing. <laughs> Alright, come on. Take your turn. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that took so long. Uh, we're fine. A heroine's turn never- Oh, you know, it, it Nisa's fine. She's pretty. She seems to be pretty tanky, anyway. I'm never this generous. All right, keep going. Keep spamming. Spam more. I'm never. 
Damn it, I can't do musical words. Alright, we're gonna try and end this right now. Did you think that was it? Too bad. What? Speed will do the trick. Yeah. We did it. Not bad. Come on, we've got this. Yeah, hey, thanks, Effie. <laughs> Lies in everyone's heart. I want to be well, that's some good experience. Level up. Mm. Puppy walk. Oh, that's oh, that's um, that's for her yo yo, isn't it? She got five levels, she got three levels. It's pretty good. Don't think this is over. I also find it weird that R4 gets her own theme in this game, but she doesn't get a theme in any other game. She's gone. She's much weaker than she tries to make herself seem. Well, I mean, it definitely gave me a tough fight, but that's only because, uh, you know, Gust and Nisa were a little underleveled. Heard my party. Did delay us. We need to see what's happening between the aristocrats and the Basilicom. Do 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 do. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm probably gonna go make something to eat after this, uh, this stream. Let's see, Planet PR. Let's have a look at that. Recreation. Let's look at more booba. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. This is Greenheart. I'd like to speak a little about the leisure activities you can find on Leanbox. You can play x -Bax. We offer horseback riding lessons and theatrical plays. But I'd like to focus on land parties, <laughs> our most popular activity. Of course, that's your most popular activity. These are often hosted by aristocrats or major corporations with good connections. They do charge a sign-up fee, though. In recent years, it's become popular for different industries to gather in one place for tournaments as well. Did you know we also have parties catered toward children? Children on Leanbox participate to make new friends, learn online etiquette, and grow into well-respected adults. I wonder if you'll want to live in Leanbox. That's all for today. I noticed I know I noticed two very big reasons <laughs> why you want to live in Leanbox. If they don't have a LAN cable, means they're disqualified. Yep. We don't want your doo-doo ass internet. Especially in 2010. 2010 internet? Doo-doo. <laughs> we don't want that shit. <laughs> the end of the evangelist. The evangelist con conversacion with was Jad's accomplice. She was pulling the strings behind the imminent war between the Basilicom and the aristocrats. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> oh, crackers. Where is Lady Greenheart? She's the only one who could tame this mess. Everyone over here. Was she locked right up? Here. Oh, excuse me. Coming through. Good. You weren't captured? What the fuck are they doing over there? Yes, I was. However, the spell holding me got weaker, so I left. Oh, she just left? <laughs> she walked out? Fuck crackers. <laughs> fuck crackers. Maybe because we beat up that woman? She got away, though. Probably. That makes sense to me. I'm glad you're here, though. Can you please put a stop to this? But I've never done anything like this. I always just let the Archbishop handle situations requiring effort. Well, psych. Ah! Shut up! <laughs> okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <clears throat> People, could you stop, please? Let's get together somewhere and talk. You gotta be more aggressive. This is your land. <laughs> be more proud of that. Instead. And they started. They started making noise again. Everyone, this battle is ending this instant. Drop your weapons. This is a command from the CPU of Leanbox, Greenheart. Cease this foolishness at once. Oh, yeah, okay. She can do it if she tries. Of course, she's a goddess. 
She's not like someone who'd become a useless amnesiac by falling face first into the ground. Oh, damn, burn. She got weaker, so Vert left. Vert, stop being Makaya. <laughs> yeah, but unlike Makaya, Vert has Booba. And she's great. I apologize for all the trouble. I need to really take better care of my land. It's too early to wrap this up. The wannabe evangelist is still running loose. The war's over, but I still need to care for the aftermath. Well, where's the, uh, where's the key fragment at, huh? Please, pursue Convy. I mean, did you see her outfit? There's no way she could get away quietly in that. You're right. We're so on it. I think this is the only land where the goddess actually has faith in us. Because <laughs> in Last Station, Blackheart's trying to murder us. And in Louis, <laughs> Blonde is trying to murder us. So we can't have nice things over there. So I guess we're going to Remnant Tower. Anyways, I think that'll do it for today. But it looks like we are done 50... We're, we're actually done 50% of the dungeons now. And we're also done 62% of the events. So we've made pretty damn good progress in this game. But anyways, uh, I want to go have some lunch. So we're going to make this a little bit of a shorter episode. So yeah. Emphasize, today's a busy day because we're going to be playing more Paper Jam later today. And maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, anyways, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, I'm going to go make some lunch. And then I'm going to go shopping for water enhancers. And yada, yada, yada. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. So, take care.